Hello subscribers, today we're going to talk about buying a home that has an older sagging roof and you might see that on a lot of roofs if you watch this video now you pay attention and start looking around at the roofs in your neighborhood or even your own roof and say wow you know what I do do see a sag there and, or I have noticed that before and I always wondered what that was all about well a, uh, a sagging roof sorry about all the noise and the trees behind me but um, sagging roof um, is something that you need to pay attention to because it could be something serious and it could be something minor but you really do need to look into it so there there are many uh, things that could cause a sagging roof and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you a, an example of one right now so in this roof here you can see a slight sag here in, in this area and um, I'm gonna try to zoom in to see if maybe you can notice that I'm gonna go in different angles here but uh, there's a little bit of a sag happening here in this roof now let's talk about what could be causing the sag in that roof or any other roof uh, the first thing could be that you've got um, uh, sheathing roof sheathing that is uh, old and has gotten water and has has gotten wet and is the roof she roof sheathing could have been sagging and if that's the case then you're going to want to replace your roof at least in that area and take the, the sheathing off and put brand new sheathing in that spot another reason could be that you have a long span uh, between the peak of your roof and uh, the outside wall and it's just these rafters are very long and maybe it wasn't designed or uh, engineered properly years and years ago when the house was built and maybe the size of the rafters that were used cannot support the load and they start to, to bend the bow a little bit another issue could be that you know when the uh, when the framers were building the house rafters have a, should have a natural crown to them where a, a crown meaning if you hold it up and you look at it like this you'll see that they'll they'll do this okay and if they're not paying attention to that and they install it the other way upside down you'll have a bow to it instead of instead of it being a hump it'll be like a depression like and then you'll, you'd see a sag pretty quickly um, so that could be the case too something to identify and if that's what's if that is what has happened that can be repaired uh, you can what's called a sister another uh, rafter next to it and push the roof up you can have a, a of course a contractor do that for you and then once the roof is uh, elevated they can attach that new rafter in that spot so that way it's going to lay down a little bit higher in that area uh, another issue you could have with roof sag could be that either your floors and the rooms below or even your foundation has sunk which means that everything else above it has come down um, if you're seeing a sag just in one little area kind of like what we just saw a few minutes ago then that's likely not the case but you do want to have that looked into because if if that's the if that's the situation then you've got bigger problems in your roof and your roof really isn't the issue your issue is structural uh, below the roof and that's a bigger problem than the roof so if you're purchasing a home that has a sagging roof there are, there's a few options well the first thing is is you definitely want to have it checked out and maybe you have you're, you're gonna have a home inspection but you might want to have someone who specializes in roofs uh, like a roofer take a look at it to let you know exactly what's going to be needed to repair repair it now you can ask for the seller to uh, fix it before you close on the home uh, that's the best thing for you because then it's then it's done and you don't have to you don't have to deal with the cost in case the cost ends up being more than what the estimate is uh, before the repair is done uh, the other option is to have to receive a seller credit at closing uh, to cover the potential cost of the repairs which means you're going to want to have estimates maybe you take the average of all the estimates or the highest whichever you agree to with the seller and then they give you the money at closing as a closing cost credit now you have to deal with it uh, after the fact if it's a serious condition and you're using an FHA loan 
you you might not get the mortgage unless it's fixed first because FHA inspections are very um, difficult. I wouldn't maybe use the word difficult, but uh, they're very thorough, and they do not allow for things to be uh, dangerous, uh, in disrepair, etc. Before the loan will close. So um, again, you could potentially take the money and have it repaired yourself after the fact. At least I'll say this about that option. At least if if you're repairing it, you will know that you're getting it done right versus trust the seller to do it. Maybe just have someone do a patch job just to get through this, the closing. So so there's that benefit of, of doing it yourself. Um, if it's something other than just the roof and the rafters and the sheathing, then and it's more structural, then I would seriously consider whether it's that important to purchase this house and maybe you want to look at getting something else. If this is your existing home, you already live here, then obviously the, the first step is to get someone to come out and look at your roof and see what the issue is. Hopefully it isn't structural and it's just something that can be done either with a, a minor repair or at, at worst a whole re-roofing of your entire roof. If you do have two layers of shingles on your roof already, that's going to be a lot of added weight and could, could be part of the reason why you're getting some of that sagging. If you have any questions at all about your roof, sagging roofs, old roofs, repairing roofs, just leave them in the comments down below. We'll uh, answer you pretty quickly. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.